There we go. Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Thank you for joining us. For those of you who don't know us, I'm Leanne and this is Baby Bell. Today we're going to be talking about playtime for babies. To start with, babies don't really seem to do too much other than sleep, eat and need nappy changes. There's not a huge amount of interaction going on. So when they suddenly wake up at around three months old and start interacting more, you just sort of think, oh my God, what am I gonna do with them all day? It is quite challenging thinking of different things to do with a baby all day, every day. And it's been even more challenging during this lockdown simply because there's no baby groups open and we can't go out and meet friends. So it has been difficult trying to think of things to keep Baby Bell entertained all day. Playtime is so much more than just fun for babies as well. It helps them to develop motor and sensory skills explore the world around them, discover interests, build confidence and so much more. So we thought we'd share some of the things that we've been doing. These are Baby Bell's favourite activities at the moment. The first thing is sitting up. Baby Bell has actually been sitting independently for a few seconds at a time now for the last couple of weeks, but that's meant that that's all she wants to do. She doesn't want to lay down anymore. It is just sitting up. So her newbie blow up seat is coming in really, really handy for that as she can sit in it and just take in everything around her. The little tray on it as well means that she can have her toys or books in front of her and she can entertain herself for 10 minutes, which is great. Next up, we have the Bright Start 5-in-1 activity mat. This has all the usual things that you would expect from a play mat. Crinkly things, lights, music, a mirror. And it also has a little tummy time pillow, which came in useful in the beginning. We chose this one because the sides can be raised on it. And for us, that meant that I could safely leave Baby Bell in there without worrying about Jessie, our dog, trampling all over her. Baby Bell will quite happily stay in there for 20 to 30 minutes at a time, singing away to the little elephant and working on her hand-eye coordination. It also turns into a ball pit for when she's older, so it should last for a few years. I'll drop a link in the description for all the items that we discussed here so that you can go and have a look yourself. Next up, we have a water mat. Now, like a lot of babies, Baby Bell really didn't enjoy tummy time to start with. The blow up edges make a perfect cushion for her and the colours and moving sea creatures really grab her attention. She's also started trying to grab the sea creatures now, so it's helping with her fine motor skills as well as developing her muscles. Bonus tip, if you add a bit of Milton fluid to the water, it stops it from going mouldy, especially in the winter when it's really hard to get them dry because it's raining all the time. Next up, we have this sensory box from a company called Sensational Babies. The original box has actually fallen apart where we've been in and out of it so many times. So we actually got this little cute one from Amazon to store everything in. This is amazing. It's got so much stuff in it, things that I hadn't even thought about, which Baby Bell finds really entertaining. Do you want the lightsaber? <gasps> Everything goes into Baby Bell's mouth at the moment, so she can't be left unsupervised with any of it. Right, take that out of your mouth, please. Why is it got to go in your mouth? Oh, that's going in there as well. <laughs> Have that instead. Yeah. Oh, straight in your mouth. Some of her favourite things from this box are the parrot. Hello, hello, hello. The bubbles. And this. That is a standard emergency foil blanket. And we put her on that 
with a disco light projector and it keeps her entertained for hours. The blanket is out of the box and the disco light projector is just a cheapy one from Amazon. I'll put links in the description for all the toys that we talk about here, including links to the blankets that you can purchase on their own. I've ordered a couple more because they're not very sturdy and I don't want that one to fall apart and not have one to keep her entertained. Baby Bell does make me laugh when I'm trying to film her though. She'll be happily playing away and then as soon as the camera comes out, she looks up and she's like, oh, hey. Teething toys are another firm favourite in this house. Since we filmed our teething video a few weeks ago, Sophie has fallen out of favour and the newbie shark is the new favourite. Because we're always talking about the shark, I do spend a lot of time with baby sharks stuck in my head, which isn't really ideal. But the thing that she enjoys the most is anything that involves interacting with us. Tickles. <laughs> Silly noises. Peekaboo. <laughs> Reading, dancing and singing, anything like that. She absolutely loves it. And went running in the evenings too. He knew he would win. Baby Bell's not six months yet. In fact, she would have only just turned five months when this video goes live. So there may be other things that she finds entertaining before she turns six months. <laughs> what are you doing? I'll put links to all of the toys that we've talked about into the description so that you can check them out yourselves. Please let us know in the comment what toys your babies are obsessed with and what activities you do with them to keep them entertained. We've still got a while of lockdown to go yet, so any ideas are most welcome. As usual, we really hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Please remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Not only does it make us happy, but it helps other people who might find it useful find the video. We'll see you next time. Say bye. Baby Bell. <laughs> right, I think we're done. Are we done? Right, what were we gonna say? Can you imagine it if that didn't record me now? Oh. I'll put links in the description. Oh.